Good evening, everyone. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries by now silently praying Jesus many times. All together, I confess to all my God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask bless Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. saints who through the cross were pleased to call the martyrs Saint Paul, Mickey and companions to life. Grant, we pray that by the intercession we may hold with courage even until death to the faith that we profess. Our Lord Jesus Christ, we are Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of the whole community of Israel and stretching forth his hands toward heaven, he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You keep your covenant of mercy with your servants who are faithful to you with their whole heart. Can it indeed be that God dwells on earth? If the heavens and the highest heavens cannot contain you, how much less this temple which I have built? Look kindly on the prayer and petition of your servant, O Lord my God, and listen to the cry of supplication which I, your servant, utter before you this day. May your eyes watch night and day over this temple, the place where you have decreed you shall be honored. May you heed the prayer which I, your servant, offer in this place. Listen to the petitions of your servant and of your people Israel which they offer in this place. Listen from your heavenly dwelling and grant pardon. The word of the Lord. Let your response be, How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God! How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God! 
My soul earns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. All that nature, Lord, my Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. O God, behold our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark when the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus they observed that some of their disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees and in fact all Jews do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they did not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed. The purification of cups and jugs and cattle and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders? but instead eat a meal with unclean hands. He responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honours me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is korban, 
meaning dedicated to God. You allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many such things. Gospel of the Lord. Praise be the Lord Jesus Christ. Dusters and brothers, we are continuing with this month of February, which is completely dedicated to the most holy Trinity, to God the Father, to God the Son, to God the Holy Spirit. This month also is consecrated to the Holy Family of Nazareth, to Jesus, Mary, Joseph. As today is the sixth day in this month, so this day is the memorial of the martyrs of Japan. Altogether, 26 who died for Jesus Christ. Saint Paul, Mickey and companions. Today's first reading gives her this great Bible reminder that like King Solomon, we also should form the habit of talking to God. And the Gospel reading of this evening reminds us that we are always called to have a clean heart in order to show our sincerity of love for Jesus Christ. So next time when you are simply tempted not to talk to God, not to have a clean heart, at once keep on praying Jesus, Mary, Joseph and time, so that you can be humble and put into practice the Bible teachings. Amen. Hail Saint Eretus and Companions. Hail Saint Eretus and Companions. Hail Saint Eretus and Companions. The prayer of the faithful for this Tuesday, the fifth week in ordinary time. Our worship is meaningless unless it proceeds from a sincere heart. We pray now to God the Father to create within us a clean heart and a steadfast spirit. Let your response be, Father, open our hearts to your heart. Father, open our hearts to your heart. That the leaders of the church may always be guided by the light of the gospel and may not seek security in structures. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, open our hearts to your heart. That as a community, we may not close our eyes to the real human needs of the poor who are in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, open our hearts to your heart. That we may realize that the real test of how we are carrying out God's will is to be found in the way we treat others. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, open our hearts to your heart. That the sick may be strengthened in their weaknesses and be freed from every infirmity.
uniformity, let us pray to the Lord. Father, open our hearts to your heart. That the dead who have gone before us may rest in God's peace, let us pray to the Lord. Father, open our hearts to your heart. Heavenly Father, create within us sincerity of heart so that we may love and respect others as you treasure them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, and may the gifts that give. Blessed all Mickey and companions, courage under persecution, make us too steadfast in all trials. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Your very sufferings are but the wonders of your might. In your mercy you give us order to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours. To Christ our Lord, and all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim.
Lord, the Holy Lord, the Holy the Holy 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 so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Today is sin memory of me. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, her Pope, and the variety of bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Worthy Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. You may merit to be called your children alive and praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who bless us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. We shall grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Letters of each other, the sign of peace. Peaceful greetings to everyone. of God, behold him and takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Then turn them around. But all they say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Preserve in us your gift, O Lord, and may what we have received at your hands for the feast day of the blessed martyrs, all Mickey and companions, bring us salvation and peace to Christ our Lord. The prayer all together. O oh God, our Father, we praise and thank you for giving us saint editors and companions. We ask you to bless us with the same faith and courage we had 1500 years ago to proclaim your good news through the merits of your martyrdom. May all people see Jesus Christ in us so that all may feel your love come to know you as God. Protect and guide us, listen to our prayers, and send us the Holy Spirit, that we, our church in the Arabian Peninsula, may always seek to do your will, grow in faith, and be attentive to the needs of others. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, through the intercession of our Lady of Arabia. Amen. Saint Eretus and companions, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, who and announce the gospel of the Lord. prayer to Saint Anthony. O holy Saint Anthony, the gentlest and kindest of all saints, the burning love of God, your exalted virtues, and your great charity towards your fellow creatures made you worthy and honored to possess miraculous powers such as were given to no other saint. To the sick you gave back health, to restore what was lost, the sorrow stricken were the objects of your tender compassion. Encouraged by this thought, convinced of the efficacy of your holy intercession, I kneel before your holy image and full of confidence. I implore you to obtain for me the favor that I now do. O oh, gentle and loving Saint Anthony, you whose heart was ever full of human sympathy, whisper my prayer into the ears of the infant Jesus. Love to linger in your arms. One word from you, and my prayer will be granted. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Invocations to Saint Anthony. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. God, the Father of heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Holy Mary. Saint Anthony of Padua. 
Lord. Saint Anthony, glory of the seraphic order. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, ark of the testament. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, sanctuary of the heavenly wisdom. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, despiser of the vanities of the world. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, conqueror of the concupiscence. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, prodigy of penitence. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, mirror of obedience. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, pearl of poverty. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, lily of heavenly purity. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, model of humility. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, ardent lover of the cross. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, martyr in desire. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, furnace of ardent charity. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, guardian of justice. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, evangelical apostle. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, radiant light and lightning sinners. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, terror of infidels. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, model of perfection. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, consoler of the afflicted. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, chastiser of crimes. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, defender of the innocent. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, liberator of captives. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, guide of wanderers. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, healer of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, worker of miracles. Pray for us. Saint Anthony who did restore the speech to the dumb. Pray for us. Saint Anthony who did give hearing to the deaf. Pray for us. Saint Anthony who did give sight to the blind. Pray for us. Saint Anthony who did restore health to the crippled. Pray for us. Saint Anthony who did put the demons to flight. Pray for us. Saint Anthony who did restore the dead to life. Pray for us. Saint Anthony who did appease the fury of tyrants. Pray for us. Saint Anthony who did restore things that were lost. Pray for us. From the snares of the devil, Saint Anthony. Pray for us. From the lightning and storm, Saint Anthony. Pray for us. By the powerful intercession, Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Through the whole course of life, Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Christ, hear us. Christ, Pray for us, a glorious Saint Anthony. Let us pray. A most merciful God, who adorned with undying splendor, your servant Saint Anthony, graciously grant that we may efficaciously obtain, through his intercession, that which we confidently pray for through his merits, through Jesus Christ our Lord, 